We're often invited to move into a supine twist at the end of our yoga sequence in preparation for final relaxation. In this pose, we're invited to generally stretch and release the spine and shoulders and not hold any tension in the body with the muscles relaxed. However, we can often find this difficult due to our body's proportions or challenges such as back, neck or hip problems. In this video, we look at a range of adaptations we can use to make the pose accessible and relaxing. I hope it's helpful for you. So with this spinal twist, to really get comfortable and be able to release and relax, you might need a blanket or a cushion or really nice if you do have a bolster or a block. So, just coming to lie on your back, releasing down, and just straightening the body, bringing the hands alongside the body. Maybe just take a couple of breaths, feet, maybe just hip distance apart, stretching the feet out nice and flat. And then we can take the arm out at right angles, but we'll talk a bit more about the position later. And then lifting the hips up, moving them over to one side and dropping them down. And in this way, when we come to drop the knees down to the other side, it means the body is just a little bit straighter. And from here, we can then turn the head potentially in the opposite direction, which would be a simple twist. No adaptations. However, this is not always comfortable. And it's so important within the twist to be able to really relax. So some of the adaptations we can do. Firstly, when we come down, we would normally just fix the shoulders. So the shoulders are flat and just let the knees drop as far as comfortable. But you don't really want your knees floating in the air. So you can use a bolster. And as you drop your knees down, just resting them on the bolster. However, you may find that one knee is coming down, but the other is left in the air, and then it might be comfortable to put the bolster between the legs. I'm just relaxing here. So normally we say just allow the shoulders to be fixed on the floor, and then we drop the knees down as far as they will go. However, if we've got lots of difficulties, maybe with our back and hips, it might be better to let the knees come down to the floor and just allowing the shoulder to lift off the floor. And then we can get a blanket and support the shoulder with a blanket. So we are still allowing our body to relax not holding any tension there. We can also consider how we hold our arms so that we might have our palms facing up or down, really just exploring what's more comfortable for us. Sometimes when we're moving our knees, we can feel more supported by having the palms facing down the floor. However, in some classes there might not be room, or that might not be comfortable, and you can form a uh, cactus shape with the arms, or you bring the hands behind the neck. For some people that might cause some uh, pinching the nerves and tingling. And in this case, you might just want to put your hands onto your ribs as the arms come down. Sometimes it's quite nice also just resting the hands on the knees. The gate is resting, we're not pushing it down. And then just thinking about the position of the neck. So again, traditionally, we will bring the knees down, and once comfortable, slowly turning the head in the opposite direction. Now this is not always right for people, so it might be better have it looking up, or even turning away the knees. We just bring the neck into what is comfortable. If you're 
find your head is tilting back, so your chin is stuck in the air, you might just want to bring that blanket under the head. So you don't want much height, but just stretching out the back of the neck so it's nice and straight. And finally, thinking about what part of the back that we are actually working on. So we've done this twist with the feet on the floor, dropping the knees to the side. However, you might find that we moved the hips over to one side, brought the heat, the legs up so the knees were above the hips, and dropping the knees down, you get a twist further up the spine. And again, taking the hips over to the other side, and if it's okay for you, bringing the knees onto the chest and dropping them down, this twist is even further up the spine. And it's just finding what's right for you at the time that you're doing the twist. As you come out of it, what you might find, bringing their palms down, gives you a bit more support. Coming up, and you just bring your feet down and straighten the spine. So before you go to the other side, just relax in there. So maybe just doing that practice now. So allowing the body to settle, bringing the feet on the floor. And just getting in touch with the breath. Then taking the arms out to the side, maybe the palms down, lifting the hips up, taking them over to one side, and then bringing the knees into the position that you wish, either the feet on the floor, knees up or on the chest, and then just dropping the knees down to the opposite side, supporting the knees if that's comfortable, with the shoulders relaxed. And then just adjusting the arms to what feels right for you at this point in time. And finally, even the head as it is, but turning maybe it's the opposite direction or the direction of the knees. And from here, maybe just taking a long, slow, deep breath in. A breath out, just allowing the body to sink into the mat. So you're just releasing any tension. Maybe just bring your awareness to your hips, making sure you're not holding tension here. Bring your attention to your shoulders, breathing into the shoulders, just letting them relax. And then bring, taking the arm out to the side, maybe bringing those palms back down onto the floor. As you breathe in, lifting the knees up, Bringing the feet back to the floor if they're not on the floor, straightening the body. Just noticing how the body feels, if the two sides feel different. Take a couple of breaths here, and then lifting the hips up, take them over to the opposite side to last time. Bringing the knees into the position you want, either with the feet flat on the floor, knees up above the hips or on the chest. And then as you breathe out, just bring the knees down to the side, coming into that twist. Bring the arms into position that works for you. And as you breathe out, maybe turning the head to the opposite direction. Or whether it's comfortable. And while here again, just taking a couple of deep breaths. Just so allow the body just to sink into the mat, just releasing any tension. There shouldn't be any muscles that are hurrying to work, that are holding you in this pose. The ground should be holding you. Just bring your attention to your hips, making sure there's no tension there, into your shoulders. Maybe just breathing into the shoulders as you breathe out, just releasing. And just always making sure you bring your head back to centre before you move the rest of the body. And then bring the knees back, bring the feet to the floor, straightening the body. Maybe bringing the hands onto the belly, just noticing how that 